No more copies made at Kinko's anywhere by anyone. No more faxes, no more printing either. FedEx is dropping the name Kinko's from all of its stores, and they will now be called FedEx Office. Is this a smart move for FedEx? Here to talk about what's in a name, David Vinjamuri. He is author of Accidental Branding. David, good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you. So uh, they've been having a lot of problems uh, with this combination of Kinko's and FedEx. A lot of it was cultural. But is a name all that important? I think a name's incredibly important. This was uh, an expensive merger. It's $2.4 billion to acquire Kinko's uh, back in 2003. And it was reactive. Uh, two years earlier, UPS had acquired mailboxes, et cetera. They got 4,200 outlets in that transaction for just $191 million. Uh, FedEx but look, at the, look at this video. This is what gets me. You see, you see the inside of a Kinko's FedEx, and FedEx is known for speed. Boom, boom, boom. We get it done now. F you go into Kinko's, FedEx, FedEx, Kinko's, and it was kind of a meandering environment. There never seemed to be that FedEx focus on speed when you went into a Kinko's. Yeah, I always had the sense that Kinko's is like these uh, hotels that you go into that are run by 18-year-old college students. Exactly. You know, exactly. That you know you're going to get it done eventually. It was a fun atmosphere, but it was not the all-business Too many whatevers. You know, you, exactly. you hear whatevers one more time. I'm going <laughs> to punch somebody. I need this thing to get out now, right. you know? So it always puzzles me why FedEx put their name before Kinko's because when you went to Kinko's you want to do copying you want to do all this back office right. stuff that happened when people didn't all have printers and and uh, copiers in their home office but is a name gonna do it is it, do they have in addition to the name change do they have a whole strategy for changing that mentality of the Kinko's folks to match the speed of FedEx I'd be very surprised because they haven't done it over the last five years and I think it's a big issue for FedEx that they haven't changed the culture of that Kinko's brand that they took over. This is fascinating. So even though they recognize there's a problem, recognize enough to change the name, they haven't worked it into their management plan yet. Yeah, it seems like, you know, you'd also expect a lot of interesting innovations from FedEx Kinko's. Could they do more back office stuff? Could they do accounting for small businesses? We really haven't seen it. Accidental Branding is the name of the book. David Vinjamuri, thank you very much, David. Thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming in.